What is your favorite thing about your business? My favorite thing about the business is that we are flexible and just we have an eye for detail. So I, I naturally love to clean. I'm a clean person. Um, also, just the simple fact that I am my own boss. So I love that. Um, I love my clients. That's another thing. It's like it's hard for me to be an owner and to notice that one day as we're drastically growing, growing I'm going to have to be on the back burner. I'm going to have to actually like step aside at some point and I don't think I want to let anybody go. So it's also hard like with the onboarding process when I'm hiring new employees or I'm doing a consult where I kind of have to say, ooh, who's going to get this one? They sound amazing, but I can only take so many. Right. Mm -hmm. You're like, I want that one. Yeah. Yeah. So and I already have my, you know, I already have my fat, my fat five, like not yeah. really a fat five, but it's like I'm, my roster is full. So at the same time, it's like how many clientele can you take mm -hmm. to make sure you're serving everyone with a, a keen eye to detail? How many people are going to be able to be added to the team that actually can give what we're supposed to be giving? So we're very strategic on how we're going to train you, how you're going to go into someone's space, and if you're doing what we're supposed to be doing in their house. So when you were first talking, I mean, you sat down, you and Christina sat down and were like, this is the plan. This is where we're going. Mm -hmm. So where do you want this business to be in three years? Um, ideally, I would like to be all over. So where someone else could come in and not really partner up with us, but have a couple managers. So we would like to be able to have more managers that can do on-site boarding for us. They can do quality checks for us to where we can kind of get our time back, but also we trust you to do the process and know exactly what it takes to make sure that the business is running effortlessly mm -hmm. and so that we're still able to give the model that we're giving now. We don't want to grow in three years, but at the same time, we're not able to deliver what we started with. So when we started with love and care and trust, we want that to just be all over the place and also be serving all over the lakeshore. Okay. So right now it's like we might go to Holland, we might go to Grand Haven, but I'd like to be up in Petoskey every weekend. Okay. You know, I'd like to be up in Petoskey. I'd like to own my own home in Petoskey to where it's like, I have so many Airbnbs in there. And it so makes, many... just makes sense to have yes, your own. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like I, now, now we actually have a fun summer space in there. So right. I, Yep. And then how far how far in state do you go? I mean, you talked about the Lakeshore. Do you go all the way to Grand Rapids? Do you eventually want to so make it all the way We are based out of Grand Rapids. Okay. Um, currently, we've been all the way past Shelbyville, all okay. the way up past Conklin, all the things. So we do. Tra we have a travel fee. If every 20 miles, 20 minutes, 20 miles, there's an extra fee. So we will service anywhere. But right now, um, those are like the farthest places that we go to base the route so that we're there a whole day. So you seem super in tune with like who you know you serve. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Like who, who are they? Our ideal clients are people who basically respect small businesses. They respect entrepreneurs and more so respect themselves. They love self-care. We take pride in saying that when you hire a professional housekeeper, it's a sense of self-care because you're getting your time back. So you're not looking at it as a, just a fee or a bill. You're looking at us as humans. We're not just the help. Also, you're looking at us as people that are coming in that actually care about you and your family. We know your kids' names. We know your pets' names. Our ideal client is someone who wants to grow with us as a business and not just look at us as a one-time deal. While we take deep cleans and we love to service you if you ever move, if you need um, another move-in, move-out clean, or you're referring someone as a realtor, you're always going to be calling us because of the, the service that we give you. So those are our ideal clients as ones that we kind of draw you in and you just don't leave. You want an emotional client, like not just somebody who's like, well, that's just my house cleaner. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited we're going to be here. I left you a little treat on my counter. Exactly. You know, that kind of Exactly, thing. because that's how we treat you. Like we give gift cards, we give Christmas cards, we give Mother Day's cards, we give Father Day cards. You matter. So also there would be no business without these clients. So we want to make sure we matter the same way that you matter. So Absolutely. on a typical, like somebody messages you, is it? typically a mom is a uh, well, it's all over the place. place okay so a lot of obviously a lot of women a lot of women do message us but we do have a lot of supportive husbands who message us specifically because they want to take a lot off the plate for the husband I'm, I'm sorry for the wife they they're looking to help their spouse then we have mother-in-laws mother-in-laws who are contacting us saying hey my daughter-in-law my son are getting ready to have a baby we'd like to do a baby on board clean um, we now have, a, yeah, so now we now have a partnership with Great Lakes Doulas. Mm -hmm. um, Mandy is one of our clients as well. We sat down with Mandy. You know what the, they were lacking was support for postpartum parents. So we have that now to where it's like, hey, I have a need. I had a baby. What else can I do besides have help getting this taken off my plate, have someone come in who I can trust. And with that baby on board clean or the postpartum cleans, it's not our traditional clean. So typically we come in your space for six hours. 
But with those cleans, you tell us exactly what you need done. And then we have a shorter time frame. That way you're getting some sleep. You're getting some rest. You're getting some laundry done, some dishes washed, whatever you need. We're going to do that versus the, the normal routine of the check marks where it's like kitchen dusting. They're like, no, I just see my laundry done. And no, I just see my kitchen clean because I wasn't able to get to those dishes. I got five kids running around. Right. So all the things. So all the things, like, all the people. This is not just like a, hey, we're going to come in and clean your bathrooms and like wipe everything down. Like you're doing dishes and household chores yeah. and organizing. And so like, that changed a lot because we had an Ollie cart. We, we have an Ollie cart list now. Initially, that's kind of where it came to figure out who your ideal client is and how are you serving them? Because you have your generic list of what you're going to offer them. But then you have a lot of clients who over time get complacent as well as our cleaners. Everyone gets complacent, right? You know your job. They know you. They just start adding things where it's like, hey, can you can you change the linen on that bed? Can you wash those dishes? Or my kids, it was just a bad day. So there's stuff everywhere, whereas we have a time frame. So now we're, hey, do you want your dishes done every time? Let's add that to the list. Would you like us to change your linens every time? Let's add that to the list. Do you want your refrigerator wiped out every time? Are you going out of town and you want to add that service? You haven't got it since you had your deep clean two years ago. What does that look like? Let's check out your stove. So now there's so many options to where you can go ahead and add everything versus just your generic basic maintenance clean, your deep cleans, your Airbnb cleans. It's like, if you don't have the time, let us give you the time back by adding those extra services. And then those on all the time or somebody can just add it in like, hey, you know what? I just didn't get to the dishes this week if you can do those. And then next, the next time they're, you're there, it's not on the list. So they do have an option to add it every time or they can just add it by clean. Whether you're weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly. Yep. Gosh, that. So something that's like stuck out to me since we started is like, you are just so like genuine. Yeah. Like you yeah. genuinely give a fuck. Like you <laughs> are like, <laughs> yes, right. Time. Like I, so, cause when I think of cleaning, I like- Think it, of misery. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a nuisance. And like to have someone who is just like, like, so like a, uh, I guess obsessed with it, you know that, and and just like obsessed right. with helping people, you know, get their wives back, right. and not just like doing it to make money because no, you know because you're a mom. Like, oh, yeah. no, you're actually trying to help people. Yeah, you know, and that was one thing that I didn't see in your messaging, and we'll go we'll go into that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Like, like when people meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's an easy close. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, and as soon as they, like, it's immediately. Right. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, there's so many things that, like, there's so much detail out there about what you guys do and, like, the ins and outs. It's that emotional piece that, like, you walked in today and I'm like, oh, I want to hire her. <laughs> yeah. I can just tell. I just know. I got the vibe, right? right. It's the It's that whole, like, I got you. You're having a bad week? I got, yeah. I got it. I'm, I'm going to help you out. It's okay. I'm here. And that, I think, is a piece that, especially busy families, busy moms, mother-in-laws, that's the part that, like, they're really looking for. Mm -hmm. Because it has nothing to do with, yes, my baseboards are clean. Don't get me wrong. It's really nice, too. Right. But it's, somebody's got my back. Somebody can help me. Somebody can help pick up the pieces when I feel like I'm in shambles. And that's, I feel like, the mothering side of you. It, it is, for sure. Is that background of, like, we just need a little help. Right. Oh, yeah, because I am a busy mom. I have five of my own kids. So it's, like, at the same time. When I initially started, it's just because I was a stay-at-home mom. So I had my fifth child and I was like, you know what? Financially, I feel like I'm able to quit my job. Mm -hmm. So how about we do it? But then it quickly turned into what does my life look like? My life is looking like the maid, mm -hmm. looking like the accountant and the nanny oh. and the, <laughs> the landscaper. I'm literally doing all the things while dad's at work. And I was quickly like, you know what? I need a deep clean. I need a deep clean to where we can do a reset. Yeah. Let's reset this space and let me reset my mental. And Chris came in and I was like, oh, okay, well then time went on and she made a post and I was like, I cleaned 10 years ago. And so she thought she was going to be training me. And the very first day it was hilarious because I couldn't just stand there. I was like, I can't just I can't. stand here. <laughs> she was like, you can watch me. And then I was like, no, give me the rags, give me the buckets. And, right. <laughs> and then so the next week she's like, well, I bought this, I bought that. And I was like, okay, so we need this, 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 and this. I need all my own stuff. Mm -hmm. I need my own vacuum, all my own things because I'm going to come to work prepared. I'm working. Like, I don't want you just paying me to sit here and watch. And quickly the policies got put into place just because a lot of people weren't respecting her as the business owner um, to where it was like, 
hey, we're out of town right now. Sorry, you can't clean, but we're on your doorstep. And I was like, and she's like, I'm still paying you, you know? And I'm like, that's not okay. Yeah. It's not okay to where we drove 45 minutes here and she's out of town. And so while there's still clients, it just was a level of respect. Like, hey, these changes are happening. This is what we're looking for in clients. This is what you're going to get as a housekeeper because we're professionals. We have training. We have insurance. We're certified. We're not just two moms with a bucket coming in here looking for some quick, easy money. We do genuinely care about you, your kids, your pets. We care about the products we're using. We care if you're sensitive to smell. Yeah. We care if we are setting something down on the counter, is it going to leave a ring? So it's just like all the things matter. And I, I'm not obsessed with the cleaning because when I go home, I don't want to give the same attention to my own home. <laughs> but at the same time, because I've been there and it's like I come in to do a job and you're paying me for a service and I want to deliver you, deliver you what, exactly what you're looking for. Exactly. I'm not trying to let you down. And at the end of the day, when I go home, I feel a sense of comfort that you're not contacting me. You should not be contacting me when I leave your space. There shouldn't be an issue. If there's an issue, I should be contacting you. Absolutely. I it just, I, I love it. Will you come into my house? I like now it. I, now yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah right now. I've so many houses. My schedule is completely booked. <laughs> like all I the can time. You send any one of your team because I trust all of them already. I can. I can. <laughs> you would hire them. Yeah, I trust them. I can. What's going on? I hope you enjoyed that clip. And if you did and you want to see more just like it, you can click up here to this playlist or you can check out the full podcast right up here. If you want to be featured on the show, just go to michiganmarketinginthemorning.com and fill out the form on the front page. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our future episodes.